Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys my new and improved trolling case that I take out and about when I'm doing my mobile manicures and pedicures. I just got this in last weekend and I am super, super excited about it. Can't wait to show you guys um, what's in it and what I carry um, and more about it. I had done tons and tons of research trying to find cases for mobile nail technicians, but there are not a lot of videos on that at all. I know that Rube Beauty does carry a lot of really cute mobile bags, but they do not ship to my area, so I had to go um, looking somewhere else. And I found these Sunrise cases all over online. Um, unfortunately, I could not find any for nail techs or reviews from nail techs. Lots of makeup artists use them and hairstylists. So um, after literally months of research, I finally decided to jump in and purchase this one. This one is a nail trolley case. Um, it also can be used as a makeup case. But um, the top part of this had sold me and that has made me buy it so um i want to share with you guys what it looks like on the inside okay so let's get started in this case up here i carry um my uv light and my led light and my extension cord um because they do not fit in my case um on the top of this, obviously it's clear, so you can see all of your polishes. It does hold up to 54 polishes. And in this um, compartment right here, there are three different compartments, or this drawer, I'm sorry, there are three different compartments. And that pulls out for extra storage. And then up underneath this part is another little space for storage. And then there are French doors right here that have two aluminum drawers with extra storage and a small space at the bottom. Um, it does come in a very black, sleek, um, nice, smooth design. I like it with aluminum um, finishes. And then there is this retractable um, whatever you call these that come up and down so that you can carry your case around. And then it does have like some inline skate wheels to make it very easily portable and it does glide very smoothly. So this is a two in one case. It does come in two pieces. Um, they also send you like a little strap. So if you were to carry just this top piece, you can strap it here along with the other side and then you can carry that separately. So, um, this does come off, and in order to open up these drawers, you do have to take this top piece off because it's so heavy that these will not open. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this latch off, and this latch off, and then I'm going to pull this whole case off of the top and show you guys what I have in here. Okay, so this is the top piece. My son is wanting to help, so please excuse him. Um, this is made of like a plasticky glass, and um, so you gotta be really careful whenever you open this up because this will fling back and slam up against the plastic, and with the amount of money that I paid for this, I'm definitely gonna be cautious because I don't want it to bust. So, he gets excited about my polishes. Um, so I do a lot of gel manicures, so you can see that this is completely full with all of my gel polishes. And I have my swatches so that my clients can choose their colors. And then, on the bottom part, this also locks and it slides out. And these three compartments are adjustable. In this side, I have my aqua gel method. And then I've got my sponges so that I can do gradients. And this little case has all of my nail foils. 
and then my hard UV gel when I'm doing builder gels. In the middle, this is what I carry all of my polishes in, my top coats and base coats, um, nail art brushes, and then over here on this side, in these two containers, I have my caviar beads, along with other um, embellishments. And then, in this one right here, has got my nail striping tape. And in this last one over here, I've got all of my cheat sheets for quick and easy French. And then, I've got my nail wheels with more nail art, tons of glitters, and then I've got some more rhinestones on the other side. And of course some tape, because every nail tech needs tape. Okay, so I'm going to push this aside and now open the door to show you guys what's on the inside. Now, whenever you lift up the case, you do have this compartment open. And what I carry in here are my lint-free wipes to remove my polish with. Mm -hmm. And then I have these little clamps to remove my gel polish with. My lint-free wipes when I'm doing um, mm -hmm. gel manicures and, or well, gel nails actually, so I can wipe my gel brush off without getting fibers in there. And then I also carry a white cloth so that I can take uh, pictures of my nails. And then in this container has got all of my um, implements that are clean and sterilized. Uh, my clients do have their own individual bags labeled with their names that have their implements and files and buffers and things like that, and I take that with me. But just in case I run into somebody who needs nails done at that appointment and I don't have a specific um, baggie for them, I can use these. This is my bundle monster that carries all of my nail art brushes and dotting tools. I'll open that up so you guys can see it. Very handy. I love this thing. And then I have got my paraffin hand and foot protectors, but I actually use these as trash bags and I use two of them at a time. One of them I put all of my dirty towels in. And then the other one I put my trash in because I don't ever want to leave trash behind at a client's home. It's just unprofessional. So I take all of my trash with me. And inside of these drawers, or doors, on this side I have my square reader so I can accept credit cards, some flyers, and then my business cards. And then I've got a um, pen. And I'm sorry that my... My flash went out because my camera is dying on my phone. Um, but this is elastic right here, so you can put pretty much anything in here that you want. And on this side has got my portable e-file, a foot file that is disinfectable, and then my brush for when I'm doing paraffin. I brush that onto my client's nails. My mask, and then this is the cord, the charging cord to this. And then on the inside, my drill bits. And then in this drawer right here on the top, um, I have my disposable liners for my pedicure and then my gloves and all of my clean towels that I carry with me. It's about eight of them in there. Sorry, my son is throwing a fit right now. So if you hear him in the background, please excuse him. I'm trying to get this done quickly as possible. Um, in this second drawer, I carry my orange wood sticks. I don't ever really use these, but just in case I need them. And then I have disposable Puma bars. And there are some extra files in there that I use when I'm doing... Um, my gel nails and then I've got more disposable mini files and then in the back disposable buffers and on the other side is my five-step pedicure system that I use and then on the very bottom which um, I didn't expect this piece to be a lot larger 
and fit more and it didn't but that's okay because I'm trying to carry as much in as little as possible with me to each appointment so I'm not overloading myself um, but it's a pretty good size down here and I like it got my alcohol so I can rub off the inhibition layer and dehydrate nails my EPA so I can disinfect everything my table especially and this is where I put my paraffin and I just turned this on. I found this at Sally's and it works really well. It actually um, heats and melts the wax fairly quickly. And that I use this brush right here to wipe that onto my client's nails or brush that onto her hands so that I can do the paraffin treatment. And then this is what I pull out and put on my table because this is the stuff that I use the most. The nail polish remover, hand sanitizer, this is some soap for the foot bath. Um, liquid septic, just in case somebody gets nicked. You never know, you need it just in case. Um, my primer, this is tea tree oil. I like to put a couple of drops of tea tree, tea, tree, tea tree oil, excuse me, I cannot speak today, in my water um, for disinfectant purposes. A, um, gel effect top coat, and then my all-in-one SC top coat, cuticle oil, a dehydrator, my dampen dish, a nail brush, and I keep some nail glue back here just in case I need to repair anything, and then the brush that I reach for the most that has a dotting tool on one end and um, clean up on the other. So that is pretty much it. That is what I carry with me. It's simple easy everything I need for a manicure and a pedicure um, I like it so far it's working very well for me and hopefully any other mobile nail techs out there can find this useful um, but like I did say you do need to take that top part off in order to close and open these doors because that top part does weigh it down and you can't get these open but other than that it transports very easily and um, I think it's worth the money I paid uh, $1.99 for it basically so yeah that is it hope you guys enjoyed my video thanks for watching